Ohio Valley champion is the Southern Indiana Screaming Eagles. However, 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 here's the problem. The Screaming Eagles, they can't go dancing. You know why? Because they are in their second year in the transition from D2 to D1. And with that being with that being said, instead of them going, the team that they beat. Let me go refresh my brother. Gotta remember who they beat. The team who they beat, they get that spot instead of the late instead of those ladies. And that's another, that's another problem I got. Look, I get it. I get it. They made they made the rule so that. It gives the schools time to make the full transition and to actually be accommodated and do what it and do what it needs to do to be a D1 school. Just like that's like people want to say he had like Flo John Flo John Flo J's brother had good intentions. The NCAA in this regard had good intentions, but look what you're doing. You let these ladies play. In that conference, you let these ladies play in that tournament conference, and you let these ladies win. And when these ladies win, they can't go dancing. They can't be a part of March Madness because of your rule. But they did everything they're supposed to do, like a number team can do, to go dancing. But since they're trying to transition from a D2 to a D1, they can't go in their second year being a full-time D1 school. They second year. Not they first, they second year. They can't go dancing. It's a do y'all know how messed up that is? Like you've been better off to tell me, don't even, don't even worry about even, even trying to compete for that because what I'm competing for when my season is pretty much over. Now, yeah, they might get, yeah, they'll be in the uh, the NIT tournament, but. I want to be in the NIT for like we just did all this. We won our tournament and we can't get in. And they blew them out. Oh, Tennessee, uh, Tennessee, Mar get in. and they blew them out. Oh, Tennessee, Mar uh, Tennessee. I tell Mar all my female friends how important it is to be equally invested in their finances in case something happens. So sorry about that. Let me talking. Tennessee Martin gets gets that bit. So y'all letting a school that is 16 and 6 get a tournament spot over a team that is 24 and 6 and that team blew them out by 18 points no about 28 points my bad 28 points because they would have scored another bucket it would have been 30. make it make sense make it make sense the southern indiana screaming eagles can't even dance and they beat the team that's going dancing by almost 30. What sense does that make? Tell me what sense does that make? Because you made a stupid behind rule that says it takes four years for a D2 school in the D2 school to trans to fully transfer to a D1 to a D1 school. And then they second, they second year, they second year being a D1 school, they won 24 games. They are literally the best team in the Ohio Valley Conference. They are 17 and 1 in the Ohio Valley Conference. They won the championship game by 30. And, and the team that lost by 30 is going down. And they are 16 and 16. Don't make no sense. It really doesn't make sense, okay? It don't. If anybody can explain to me how that makes sense, please. I'm I'm all in. Because to me, it don't make sense. A team that's 500 can go dancing over the team that beat them by 30 and it's 24 and 6 overall and 17 and 1 in conference play. So, so shout out, I'm going to shout out to the Southern Indiana Scream Ridiculous. Y'all ladies did everything y'all supposed to have done, and y'all are wrongfully being left out of the NCAA tournament over a 500 win team because of a stupid rule oh well stupid rule okay so just know i'm on y'all side y'all should be dancing y'all should be in the tournament 
and it's stupid that y'all are not because y'all deserved it. Okay. I just want to get that out there. 